Another, Another cryptocurrency bridge was, was hacked, this, this one amounting to $100 million stolen. It's the third major bridge hack this year. Joining us now to discuss is Bloomberg's Justina Lee. So, Justina, obviously, a bridge is a way for people to swap coins from different blockchains, but they seem very, very vulnerable. But one estimate shows that more than a billion dollars has been stolen from bridges. I can't imagine this helps confidence at a time when crypto, the entire ecosystem, is so vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I, I think what this, this is, is kind of showing to people, people is, is that these bridges are particularly vulnerable to have, partly because their technology, technology is so complicated. complicated. Now, in this case, it seems like what happened was one particular private key was compromised, and you do need some of these keys to access the bridge. And kind of when when one of them is compromised, that kind of opens it up to risk like these. There was actually. Uh, a, a day on Bloomberg television when I gifted some co-anchors uh, some, some Bitcoin and they showed the private key. It was stolen within literally like 30 seconds. Um, but there are ways to fix that technology, right? This isn't about the blockchain. This isn't about cryptocurrency. It's really about the software that's used to move um, these things around after you take it off one blockchain to put it on another. Yeah, yeah, and I think a lot, a lot of people in crypto are going to try to fix this because we're, we're kind of moving toward a world where it's not just about the Bitcoin blockchain, it's not just about Ethereum, but different, you know, teams are coming up with different blockchains, you know, the Binance chain or Polygon. And so kind of finding a safe way to move assets between these blockchains is going to be increasingly important. That's important. Also important is keeping an eye on all of the latest news, though, around particular coins because some of that is spilling into other spaces. Places, isn't it, just, you know, I mean, we had Terra, and Luna, and Celsius, and Babel, and, uh, and, and Three Arrows, and all of these names that we've mentioned over recent weeks, and, and yet there are more coming. You know, it seems almost daily we see other uh, areas of the crypto space where either withdrawals are being halted or sort of frozen. Is there a sense that we're at the end of this yet? Yeah, it's interesting because I feel like for any economic historian, this is going to sound pretty familiar. Essentially, what we're seeing is like this domino effect of losses across the ecosystem because of counterparty exposure. And I think, you know, one thing that's, that's really interesting is kind of to see whether this ignites another crypto winter. And the last one, what we saw was prices just didn't really move for a real long time. And so interest in the general industry kind of waned. And, you know, more recently, we have seen Bitcoin back back a little bit. Of course, that's just because sentiment across risky assets kind of all went up. But I think it's a little bit different for crypto because a lot of these assets are entirely based on, you know, optimism, to kind of put it in a nice way. And so once you kind of have confidence buckle, I mean, you can see a lot of tokens go straight to zero a lot more quickly than I think we would see in the stock market. Well, because there are 20,000 tokens, right? I mean, it's unlikely that you see I think, I think even David Rubenstein said he doesn't think Bitcoin's going to zero anytime soon. There are still a few um, blue chip cryptocurrencies, if you will. Yeah, that's right. I mean, as to that lifestyle here, right? Um, this, they didn't mention the uh, bridge that was actually hacked. I've had to look for it. It was actually um, Harmony Horizons Bridge um, on Thursday. That was last week. Yeah, so it's a bit, uh, bit of old news. However, the markets are still down. But that said, um, and I'm sorry if I messed up the video here, but you know what's raw and what it is. Um, there is some news coming out of Goldman Sachs base for a two billion Goldman uh, bombshell as the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP, Solana, Cardano and Dogecoin swing. I believe they're mean on the upside. Um, Bitcoin has rebounded 20% since the crash to a low of under 18,000 per Bitcoin last week despite dire China warning with Ethereum and other top cryptocurrencies, BNB, uh, XRP, uh, Solana, Cardano and Dogecoin all also making uh, gains. Now, things are what they are. The market does seem to be a bit all over the place. Um, also with that, um, Bloomberg and that, they are saying that they think that the market might start to still go down. But you know what? It is what it is. Those who are in it for the long haul are going to get some. Um, 
do you know what I mean, are going to make it in this market. Those who are not, won't. Uh, this is an art from uh, Bloomberg UK, um, two drilling, uh, three, four rattles crypto market to the core. I think a lot of these stories that are coming out, a lot, there's an awful lot of FUD. Um, you've got here, uh, Google, uh, users think BTC is dead. Five things to know about Bitcoin this week. Now, uh, I'm going to go through a little bit. Bitcoin has started a new week above 20,000, but heading for a new bearish record as the key level remains out of reach. Are they calm weekend? Pronounced by a brief spike to near 22,000. BTC USD is back near the Friday closing price of CME future markets a round trip thus although also a lambda thus allows traders to pick up where they left off at the end of last week final uh, Wall Street trading session but would but what could lie in store in the coming days a familiar cocktail of micro threats and ongoing bearish tendencies make the current climate far from ideal for the average holder, despite seeing some relief last week, crypto markets continue to bear the blunt of the cold, of cold feet, which have defined macro sentiment increasingly throughout 2022. Well, we're living, I mean, like, I'm not sure if people know about Sumita or not, but we're going through all of that. Um, traders expect July to provide the BTC price catalyst. Um, apathetic is a good word to describe the general sense of resignation among Bitcoin traders this week. While the weaker spread and average holder more unwelcome surprises, uh, um, data from Cointelegraph Market Pro and Trading View shows that the fact remains that BTC could, is far from where anyone wants it to be, even in a bear market. With a key, with the key 200 weekly moving average, weekly moving average WMA, uh, which there is precious little bullish settlement out there as evidence by the extreme fear of greed of, uh, of crypto fear and greed is still firmly in control well it's up to some people you know what this is what it is it's, it's one of those markets it's nascent it hasn't really got much regulations going behind it you're seeing um mr gens and all these these cronies and that not doing what they're supposed to do in this market and that's the unfortunate thing but that said there will be uh, uh, better times ahead and, and those who are holding it just need to hold do you know what I mean? if you are interested in holding it, i understand that some people um, may want to sell um, may have had enough of the market i get that i get that we're going for a real bad time some people need their money not financial advice but you know what i mean you do what you need to do for yourself i can i cannot tell you what to do all i can tell you to do is do your own research and make sure you understand what you're getting into if, if you're new to this market make sure you know what you're getting into do your own research but make sure you do it and also don't keep your your cryptos on exchanges because an awful lot of them are going down you're hearing different stories from all over the place where you know block five may you know getting bailed out to, to billions the services is on the bank brink of bankruptcy an awful lot of them are getting rid of staff and that not rehiring, but the, the ones that are going to make it are the ones that are hiring now, such as XRP, they're hiring. Kraken, I believe, is hiring stuff. So, you know, those that are doing the groundwork now are going to be the ones that make it at the end of the day. Remember when we had a dot com bubble, remember that what were the ones that did the work got the, got the fruits. The ones that don't do anything don't get shit. All right, you take care. Remember, don't get scammed. Get regulated. Did you check lifestyle out? Have one. Have a good one.